You're watching a closer look. Plans of maintaining service delivery has been the priority of the government. With that, Prime Minister James Marape has recently announced the five years of governance achievement from 2019 to 2024. On the 30th of May 2024, Prime Minister James Marape has stated the achievements of the government starting with the economy. He also took the time to admit that the government is aware of the cost of living and household items in the country. Our families are struggling to put food on the table. Our parents are struggling to pay for the cost of the children's health and education. Food costs and household costs have increased quickly over the last two years, and I am admitting this. As any responsible government, we must make admissions so that we make interventions for the better going forward. From available information, living standards today, and I just want to put this out so everyone have a read on this. This is from the, the information we have in government. From available information, living standards today are 38% lower than that at independence. Mr. Marape said with proper fiscal policy tools used, the country's economy was recovered. We have made progress despite the headwinds of worst global pandemic in a century, despite the wars that is happening elsewhere, despite the uncertainty in the Middle East that has a link to oil price that affects us also. We also know that families are struggling, but we have deliberately used our fiscal policy tools before us to try our very best to contain an economy that would have gone haywire if we made no intervention. The clearest demonstration of the ship turning around, for instance, whilst the quantum mention of an economic growth is not an answer to an individual's problem, but at the macro level, I just want to indicate, for instance, when we took office in 2019 on record, IMF statistics, World Bank statistics, our own central government statistics, central bank statistics, and treasury statistics confirm we had an economy of 79.6 billion kina in 2019, 2018 rather. We took over in 2019, it expanded, and 2023 rather, our economy was 111 billion kina economy. This aid is forecasted that it will be 122.5 billion kina economy, a 43 billion kina higher economy in the last five years. If it had taken the first 44 years of our nation's life to grow economy to a 79 billion kina in 2018, 2019, it has taken 43 billion kina in four hard years, four hard years and five hard years to post this growth. This came at the backdrop of responsible fiscal policy adjustments by our government. In 2023, for instance, the GDP was 31.9 billion kina above 2018 level. In 2022, it was 31.8 billion kina above 2018 level. In 2021, it was 12.2 billion kina above 2018 level. Each of these differences represents additional production additional earnings that our economy makes each year above what we had in 2018. Over the whole five years, the government, when you added up, the accumulation to our national economy is 43 billion kina. We are now sitting above 111 billion kina economy. That means economic opportunity is much, much bigger than where the economy and participants in the economy had in 2019 and 2018. He furthermore highlighted on the role central bank played and the outcome seen. But today as I speak, uh, we have the highest ever foreign reserve in our central bank. On record, this would be the highest our country has ever had, over 3.956 million, uh, 3,956 million or 3.9 billion US dollar in the central bank. This is enough to cover 10 months of import well above the international benchmark of three to six months. Bank of PNG is using this high level of reserves and supports the government's financing program to inject more foreign exchange in the market. Indeed, in 2023, for instance, 
Bank of PNG injected over $1.6 billion into the foreign exchange market worth nearly $6 billion. This is a massive level of funding support in just 2023 to solve the foreign exchange shortage. Contrary to what many may say, almost equivalent to a combined budget in health and education of $6.2 billion in 2023. There was huge backlog of Forex and, you know, Mr. Deputy Speaker, I just want to indicate to this House. Central Bank has been clearing this backlog. By the end of March 2024, outstanding Forex orders of more than two months old for trade goods and services has fallen by 46 million. This is a much better result than expected. We are on track to get rid of backlogs on foreign exchange orders on traded goods by 2025 and on dividends by 2026 and return to Kina full convertibility by 2027. That's all we have for you on this episode of A Closer Look. Join us same time next week for another episode. On behalf of the entire team, thank you for watching and pleasant viewing.